Susie Cohen, America's pharmacist, talks about the correct TSH test. Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, America's pharmacist, and today I want to talk to you about what irks me the most about thyroid. It's the fact that physicians are measuring TSH and not measuring free T3 or reverse T3. Now this is very important, especially if you have low thyroid, hypothyroidism as it's termed, or symptoms of it. Maybe you haven't been diagnosed, but you have the symptoms of weight gain and hair loss and brittle fingernails and constipation, pale dry skin, and chronic fatigue also depression. So if you have any of those symptoms, please listen carefully because this is so important for your health. Now, this is what irks me. Here's your brain. <laughs> well, yeah. Luckily, <laughs> I'm a pharmacist and not an artist. This is why. So this is your brain and this is where TSH is made. It gets a signal from your hypothalamus which makes thyrotropin releasing hormone to go to the pituitary gland and make TSH. Doctors are measuring TSH, which stands for thyroid stimulating hormone, and they're basing your medicine and your life on this. Wrong. No, don't let them do that. Because what matters most is your free T3. Free T3. Should get another color so that looks prettier. I like pretty. <laughs> Free T3. Now there's a process by which this happens. The TSH causes the thyroid gland, which looks kind of like a butterfly, to make T4. T4 is kind of like a do-nothing hormone. It's inactive. It has to be converted to T3. That's what you want. Now, this process will not go if you are vitamin D deficient or if you are selenium deficient. Um, also, you should know that 60% of the conversion from T4 to T3 takes place in your liver. So you want to have good liver function. 60%, that's huge. 20%, get this, occurs in your belly. You need good probiotics in order for that conversion to happen. So if you're getting 60% conversion of T4 to T3 in the liver and 20% in the gut based on your good probiotic status, that's 80% of your thyroid hormone right there. That's huge. And free T3 is absolutely the most accurate way to measure your thyroid hormone. Now one more thing, I gotta show you this. We've been talking about free T3 and how important it is. And the reason is because it gets on your cells. These are little receptors, okay? So the T3 will bind to your receptors normally and open up the cell's door and get into the cell where you start to feel good and, and you feel like you've woken up and breathing life again. But there's this thing called reverse T3 and it looks just like your normal active T3. Again, T3 stands for thyroid hormone. The reverse isomer looks just like it, and it gets on the same cell receptor sites, and it competes and binds for them, and it's gonna usually win. If you have high reverse T3, you're gonna be functionally hypothyroid because these guys can't get on. The reverse T3 is kind of like a useless thing kind of like, I don't know, like a husband watching football drinking beer on your couch. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> you don't want a lot of reverse T3. You want this number, when it's measured, to be less than 16. And you want your free T3, when it's measured, to be 3.5 to 4.2. And one more thing. Remember that TSH I told you about, your brain hormone? Don't let any physicians gauge your medicine or your medicine dose on the TSH, which by the way should be between 0.1 and 1. You want them to gauge it on the fact that you have T3 levels between 3.5 and 4.2 and that your reverse T3 is less than 16. I promise you'll feel really good with that. One more thing, if they mention medication, totally good with me. Natural desiccated thyroid is an excellent treatment for hypothyroidism. I absolutely believe in that. And a lot of people have asked me, well, can I take synthetic T4, which is sold as levothyroxine? 
it's synthetic, <laughs> keyword synthetic, and much of it is converted to reverse T3. So I'm not a huge fan of synthetic T4. And despite statements about inconsistency per the US pharmacopoeia, um, there is an absolute consistent standard amount of T3 and T4 in every dose. And on top of that, I prefer the natural desiccated thyroid because it actually contains T3. It's not all T4. It's a combination of T4 and T3. So in summary, natural desiccated thyroid is an excellent treatment for hypothyroidism, and I prefer that over synthetic T4. Take that to your doctor and email me with all of your questions. Let me know how you're feeling. I love your love notes, and I'll see you next time. Ask your doctor about the Nature Throid Difference, a T4, T3 hormone replacement medication that stimulates your body's natural processes without synthetic hormones. To find out more, go to www.nature-throid.com.